Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to take yet another application of Dynamic programming. That is 01 knapsack. We are going to use a set method to solve 01 knapsack. But before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Before starting the subject, let me tell you one thing. During the course of the video, we are having to check your progress. You answer those questions, write it in the comment. And at the end of the video, you are getting the answer of those questions. So, let us begin. The knapsack problem is a problem where there is a knapsack and there are a few objects. And each object is having a price and a weight associated with it. We want to keep these objects into the bank so that we can earn the highest profit. That there is a capacity of the knapsack also. The meaning of 01 knapsack is if we want to take the object or the thing, we need to take it fully. Otherwise, we need not select it at all. It means we cannot take the fraction of the object. If Object A is having weight 5 kilo and the price is 30 rupees. Object B weight 3 kg and the price is 50 rupees. Object C weight 6 kg and its cost is 10 rupees. Object D is 1 kg whose cost is 80 rupees. And now here the capacity of the knapsack is 9 kg. How we are going to pick the object A, B, C, D so that the maximum of 9 kg we can take and we can earn a maximum profit. Now you can see if I want to take the object A, the weight is 5 kg and the cost that we are getting will be 30 only. If I want to select A and B both, the weight will be 8 kilos and the cost will be 80. If I want to select B and D, the weight will be 4 and the cost will be 130. So in this question if we we'll check, we can see that the Object A, B and D will be having weight 9 kilo and a maximum of 160 profit we can earn. I hope you understood what is the meaning of 01 knapsack. 01 knapsack problems comes under dynamic programming. As we know dynamic programming is used for optimization process. So here we are maximizing our profit. So that's why this 01 knapsack problem we can apply by using dynamic programming. Now let us see the basic objective what you are going to do. Let us say we are having an object. Let the object be x1, x2 up to xn and the corresponding weights are w1, w2 up to wn and the profit that we can earn is p1, p2 up to pn respectively. And let the capacity of knapsack is y. If the object i with weight the wi is placed in the knapsack it means a profit of PI can be earned. As we have already discussed, the objective is to fill the knapsack so that a total profit earned is maximized. Now, in order to solve this problem, we need to take a sequence of decision. It means the item x1, x2 up to xn will be taking as a 0, 1 vector. It means if I want to select item xi, I'll write 1. It means if weight wi is placed in the knapsack and we have earned a profit of pi and if you are not selecting the item xi will be placing zero either we are picking the object or not picking the object we cannot take any fraction let us try to understand this with the help of this example let we are having three objects n equal to three capacity of the knapsack is six kg and the weights of three items are 2, 3 and 4 respectively and the profits that we will be earning is 1, 2 and 5 respectively. We are initializing something called S0, 0, 0. We are writing in the form of profit and weight. It means till now we have earned 0 profit, 
with zero weight inserted into the knapsack. Now let me check whether I can take the first item whose weight is 2 and the profit is 1. So I will be finding S01. So this formula we are going to use. So PW such that P minus 1 comma W minus belong to S0. So P minus 1 is the profit that we will be earning that is the first profit and W minus 2 this 2 is nothing but the weight of the first item. So it's supposed to belongs to S0 that is 0 and 0. If I want to solve it the P minus 1 supposed to be 0 and W minus 2 supposed to be 0. So if I solve I will get P equal to 1 and W equal to 2. It means S01 value I got as 1 and 2. And after getting this, I want to do union operation with the existing SI value. So S1 will be S0 union S01. S0 already I have taken as 00 and S01 I found as. So S1 becomes 00 and 1. Now I am trying to take the second item whose weight is 3 and whose profit is 2. So the same formula I am going to use. PW such that P minus 2, W minus 3 belongs to S1. And S1 we are having 0, 0 and 1, 2. So if we will take 0, 0, so P minus 2 supposed to be 0. It means P equal to 2 and W minus 3 supposed to be 0. It means W equal to 3. So one pair 2 and 3 we got. Now we will equate this with the second pair. So P minus 2 equal to 1, it means P equal to 3. And W minus 3 equal to 2, it means W equal to 5. So these pairs I will take. S11 becomes 2, 3 and 3, 5. Now I am going to find S2 by taking the union of S1, union S11. So this is the formula that we are going to use. SI equal to SI minus 1, union SI1. In S1, I had 0, 0 and 1, 2. And in S11, I found this value. So I am going to take the union of this two. So this is the value that I am getting. Next I am going to check about the third item whose weight is 4 and whose profit that I am going to earn is 5. And S2 I am having as 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 5. So this is the formula I am going to use. It means I will take S minus 5 equal to 0 and W minus 4 equal to 0. This is the first pair in S2. So I will get P equal to 5 and W equal to 4. Now the second pair is 1 and 2. So P minus 5 equal to 1 and W minus 4 equal to 2. By solving I will get P equal to 6 and W equal to 6. The third pair is 2 and 3. So P minus 5 equal to 2 and W minus 4 equal to 3 I will take. If I will solve P equal to 7, W equal to 7. And the last pair is 3 and 5. So P minus 5 equal to 3 and W minus 4 equal to 5. If I solve, I will get P equal to 8 and W equal to 9. Now, the pair that I am getting for S21 is 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7 and 8, 9. I will use this formula and find S3. So, I will get this value as my S3. Now, you can see here there are 8 pairs. But here there is something that I need to apply. So, here I will be applying one more rule. What is the rule? The rule is called pruning rule or dominance rule. It says if we are having two pairs, PJWJ and PKWK and if PJ is less than equal to PK while WJ is greater than equal to WK then the pair PJWJ is discarded. Now on this let us check your understanding. This is the question. That if we are solving a 0, 1 knapsack problem and if we have a pair of PW that is 3, 5 and 5, 4 then in the final list which one of these will be removed? Write your answer in the comment and then proceed. I hope you have written the answer in your comment. Now let us see what is the meaning of this. It means if we can achieve more profit by taking less weight then discard the topple whose weight is more and whose profit is less. Let us try to apply here. 
these pairs the first one is profit and the second one is weight now from this pair to this pair when i am going the profit is increasing the weight is increasing from here to here you can see the profit is increasing and the weight is increasing from here to here the profit increased and the weight increased from here to here the profit increased but the weight decreased in such situation whenever we'll be having more profit with less weight we are going to keep it and the other one we are going to delete it means this part 3 5 we are going to delete it here you can see we are earning a profit of 3 by weight 5 and the next one is we are earning a profit of 5 by weight 4 so obviously this is not required so we are going to delete this and the next thing is what about these things here weight is also increasing and the profit is also increasing but here the case is at the size of the knapsack is 6 how can we take weight 7 and 9 so obviously we are going to drop these two pair also after applying the purge rule or the proning rule we'll be checking the following condition what is that piwi belongs to sn and piwi doesn't belongs to sn minus 1 then we'll say xn item we are going to take otherwise xn item will not take now we are having these set of values s3 equal to 0 0 1 2 2 3 3 5 and 6 6 the highest profit that we are having is 6 so 6 belongs to s3 this pair appeared in s3 but this pair didn't appear in s2 we can say this condition is true so we are going to take x3 so x3 equal to 1 we are going to write so how much weight remaining now so the third items weight and third items profit we are going to deduct it from here so the remaining will be 1 and 2 now you check profit 1 with weight 2 in which set it is available so it is available in s2 but it is also available in s1 so this condition is false it means 1 2 result is not because of s2 but because of s1 again we will check 1 2 belongs to s1 but 1 2 doesn't belongs to s0 so this condition is now true so we'll say x1 is 1 so we got the result that we are taking the first item and the third item and we are not taking the second item i hope you understood it let us check your understanding here is a problem m equal to 6 n equal to 3 and the pair of profit and weight is 1 2 2 3 and 3 4 then find the solution how you are going to take the items watch till the end of the video you will get the answer of this now here we got x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to 0 and x3 equal to 1 and the maximum profit i'll get as pi xi so we are getting the profit of 6 and the optimal solution is 1 0 and 1 now let us see what are the formula that we have used so initially s0 value we have taken 0 0 and we compute si by first computing si1 and si1 how we found we are taking a pair pw where p minus p i plus 1 and w minus w i plus 1 and it supposed to belongs to si and the next item si plus 1 will be si union si1 so let us see the algorithm algorithm dynamic knapsack p w n and y p is the profit w is the weight n is the number of item and y is the capacity of the knapsack so initially we will take s0 equal to 0 0 and for i equal to 1 to n minus 1 we are going to find s i minus 1 1 this formula we are going to merge it and we are applying purge rule or dominance rule here and writing si and if we are getting a pair pxwx in the last pair in sn minus 1 and we are having let us say pywi equal to pi plus p and wi plus wn then we are saying that pi plus wn is less than equal to y and if p 
px is greater than equal to py then xn is supposed to be 0 otherwise xn is supposed to be 1 and we are going to write the value of xn to x1 in a reverse direction. We can easily notice that the number of item in the set SI and the number of item in the set SI minus 1 it is twice the previous set and if no pair get purse or deleted the number of items will be summation of 2 to the power i. So that's why the complexity of 0 1 knapsack problem with this set method is big O of 2 to the power n. I hope you understood. If you understood give me a like and say among your friends. In our next video we are going to talk about one more method how I can solve 0 1 knapsack problem for dynamic programming. See you then take care. Bye.